This is a demo of recording a CICS program with the DevTest portal, recording a CICS link. And to record that, we're going to be recording it on the CICS region itself. So we'll be using the CICS agent, the DevTest CICS agent. So the first thing we might want to do is take a look and see if the agents are available. So I can click on Settings and then Agents and see what agents I have. And there's my CICS agents. And the one that I want to use, CICS TS41, is available. It's green. Okay, so I know my agent's available. The next thing I'm going to need when I'm recording a CICS link, I'm going to be recording the COM area, and that's usually mapped by a copybook. So before I start this, I'll make sure I have a copybook for the program. I'm going to be recording a program called Demo Get N. So I can go into my copybook bundle and make sure I have a copybook bundle with Demo Get N in it. So I've got one copybook bundle called CICS, and let's see what's in there. This copybook bundle is a combination of the copybooks and the mapping files to map them. So if I look at the copybooks, I do have demo get in, and there I can see what the copybook looks like. And I can also take a look at the mapping file and make sure the demo get in is mapped. There's demo get in, there's the request and the response. So it is mapped and it looks like it's mapped to demo get in dot text, the copybook that I found. So my copybooks are good to go in the copybook bundle. So now I can start the actual recording. We'll create a virtual service via recording. I can get rid of that pane. Give myself a little more room. So the first thing I have to do is select the VSC server, and I've only got one running, so it's defaulting to the one that it found. I have to enter a recording name. I'll call it demo get n, and a description if I want. And the protocol is CICS. So what I have to do now is tell it what CICS programs that I want to re record. And there's two ways I can do that. I can click on this Add Element button and add it manually. Or I can go out and look and see what's defined in the CICS region. I'll click on this Defined Elements. And it connects to the CICS agents and pulls down the first, the first 10 definitions of, uh, of programs in all the regions that are connected. I can add a prefix here, demo get, and refresh that. And I can filter on the region I want. I know I want CICS TS41. That's all I care about. And I can see my program demo get N here. So if I select it and click on Add to Virtualize, it puts it up here in the Elements to Virtualize. So it's going to record a CICS link to program demo get n on this region, CICS TS41, on this LPAR, S0W1. I can also add some filters if I want to make sure that I get the right CICS link to demo get n, I can put in the user ID of the user that's, that's running the transaction in CICS, or the system ID or transaction ID that's actually coded on the CICS link, or I can put in the transaction ID of the transaction that's run under CICS that caused that link to happen. So I'll go with dem3. I know that's the transaction on CICS I'm going to run. So as long as this little light here is green, I've got a good definition of a program to link to record the link to. And I can uh, add multiples here if I want. Uh, one should be good enough for a demo, though. So I'll start recording. And now that it's recording, I want to go out to my CICS and run the transaction. 
I'm going to go into this uh, old green screen. I'm logged on to CICS, and I'll run my transaction. Get the first record, hit F12 to get the next record, and maybe one more, and that should be enough. Back over in the depth test portal, I can see the transaction count is three, and that's good enough. So I'm going to stop recording, let that settle, and then click Next. And now I have to add the copybook data protocol, because I want to map my, my COM area via copybook. So I'll pick the CICS data protocol for the request, and the CICS copybook data protocol for the response and click Next. And now it's going to ask me to configure those, those, uh, those protocols. The first one it comes up to is the request. And it grabbed the only copybook bundle that I have, which is CICS. If I had multiples, I could choose one here. And it gives me some default values to start in column 6, end at column 72. That's standard COBOL copybook stuff. Use code page IBM 037 because it is uh, running in a, on a mainframe on CICS, so it's EBCDIC. So I want to convert that to ASCII. And don't cache any, any copy books. And that's all I need to check. I'll do a save and go to Next Configurable Protocol. I get the same values for the response. Those are fine, so I'll do a save and Next. Now I'm basically done. I just have to make sure it's in the right project. And I'll go into Save and Edit Virtual Service. And it takes me into the Virtual Service Editor, and I can see what that looks like. So here's the one I just recorded. And you can see that the response here has been mapped by the copybook. And there's the data. I can modify that if I'd like. And that's all there is to recording CICS programs in the, in the dev test portal. Thank you.